they want to silence palestinians they want us to accept uh, surrender and to accept uh, apartheid as a solution colonization as a solution and that we live under occupation and that we don't uh, fight back and we don't uh, resist On June 22, 2019, I was invited by three Arab uh, community organizations here in Berlin to speak about the United States' uh, so-called peace plan in the region. The organizers wanted to talk about also Palestinian internal issues. My wife and I, we were going through, you know, to the event. We were stopped by police. They approached me and they said that you can speak uh, in this event and this event is canceled. They escorted me to the police station and they handed me a page document that listed their reasons of why I'm being politically banned. They say, for example, that you call for the right of return for Palestinian refugees to their homes. So, what's the crime? So this is the 12-page document that the police gave me on August 1st. You have to recognize Israel's right to exist if you want to criticize Israel. It's completely political reasons. It has nothing to do with any uh, crime that I did or any, uh, you know, uh, breaking of the law in, in Germany. It's, it's political oppression. The political ban, uh, it was uh, until July 31st. On August 1st, there were a group of uh, police uh, knocking on uh, our door saying that um, we're here to take your passport and you have to leave the country by September 6, 2019. And if you don't voluntarily leave Germany, we will force you to leave, we will deport you, and you will not be able to enter Germany for two years. My name is Nadia Samour. Uh, I work as a criminal defense and human rights lawyer. I'm also the lawyer of Khaled Barakat. Legally speaking, it is in fact not easily possible to ban a person on their political activities. Like we have a international agreements on civil and political rights, you know. It is a human right to hold an opinion and to express that opinion. Every um, argument that they listed wasn't concrete enough to justify the ban. It didn't say why and what exactly they were um, anticipating, what kind of violence, what kind of hatred, what kind of um, security issue Khaled poses. Which was also surprising is that the immigration authorities quoted the anti-BDS motion. The BDS movement asks to boycott, divest and or sanction the government of Israel, Israeli institutions um, until three main demands are met, which are the end of the occupation and the dismantling of the wall, um, full and equal rights for Palestinian citizens of Israel and the right of return of Palestinian refugees. The call to boycott the Israeli government and Israeli institutions is a very important sign to say here we are, we are, we are the Palestinians, we are not the Palestinian Authority, we are not the Hamas government, we are not any of the other corrupted Palestinian institutions, but we are the, the people. <laughs> 
The argument was always, you know, it's a symbolic motion, you know. Um, institutions are free to refer to it or not. So here we have a symbolic motion that in Khaled's case is quoted as um, a reference um, to argue why he and his actions are anti-Semitic. We have a strong resistance in Palestine, especially in Gaza. We are fighting a multiple system of oppression, a colonialist one, an occupation one, a racist apartheid one. Generally, we are observing a situation or an atmosphere where the backlash against Palestinian rights is intensifying. There were uh, atrocities and massacres and uh, the Holocaust against the Jewish people in Germany. That's a fact. But they take this fact and they combine it with a big lie in order to mislead the people in Germany and say, hey, look, these people are just like the ones in the 1930s. They're trying to transfer this responsibility to other people's shoulders and say, when you talk about anti-Semitic, don't look at the new Nazi and the fascist and these uh, criminal parties in Germany, look at Palestinians and Arabs. And that is a very dangerous and dirty game. By banning certain opinions, um, we are going to see a Germany or a Europe um, that is becoming increasingly more authoritarian.